Hello, beautiful viewers. Welcome back to the Dancing Oracle with Nishia. Be sure to hit the like button. It helps me get seen. I want to share with the world and I want my videos to reach everyone I can. It's meant to see me. So please, please hit like, share and subscribe if you haven't. And I am trying to reach 1000 subscribers. And if you would like to win a free reading with me, Oracle or Tarot, just put the word STARSEED in all caps in the comments. Make sure it's all caps so I can find you. And I will take down your YouTube handle and I will be contacting you. I will be making an announcement when I reach a thousand subscribers. Be sure to tune in and let me know if you are listening and you are the winner. All right, so today we're having a short reading, a short oracle reading, pick a card. Um, and I know not everyone has time for a two hour pick a card. So we're just doing a shorty and see what your message is for the day. I am using the Star Temple Oracle. I did an unboxing video on this earlier so that everyone could see the incredible artwork and um, now I am thought let's just do what does the universe want you to know we have six choices so our first choice is the sacred geometry quartz crystal and the card that is possibly meant for you could be under that crystal Number two, we have the sand dollar. That is a real sand dollar for number two. And number three, this is a plaster cast of a starfish. So if you relate to that starfish, perhaps if you are a star seed, you might pick the starfish or the sand dollar, which has the star naturally embedded into that beautiful work of nature. Number four, we have a quartz crystal, pointed quartz crystal. Number five, we have a beautiful selenite heart. Selenite brings peace to the home and your environment. And last, we have a beautiful seashell. And uh, this is also has the sacred geometry. Uh, everything here has sacred geometry in it except for the heart shape. So um, in one way or another, it's represented because that is the, um, the grand design of life. All right, so tune in everybody. What? does the universe want you to know right now? It doesn't matter if you're tuning in today when I'm recording it. You could be tuning in a year from now and find this video. But whatever you pick, that answer is meant for you because the universe is always sending you signs. It is always there to assist you. We have our angels and guides and our ancestors are also there for us to help us in this earthly plane, in this world of light and dark. Um, it is very difficult to balance the polarities that we have on planet Earth and in this realm, in this physical realm. Okay, so if you picked the quartz sacred geometry, da 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 your reading today, your message from the universe is the universal midwife birth. I birth fruitful and sacred assignments. Look how beautiful she is. So nurturing. So what are you birthing? Are you birthing a creative endeavor? Are you actually helping someone else give birth? Are you there for a mother? whether as a midwife or just there to help that mother and child to assist them in their, as your sacred assignment to help them 
Think of all the ways you can be creative and give birth and nurture, not only with the love of a little child to help them, but we have many, many, many ways that we can enrich this planet and all the inhabitants here. So think about that. Think about giving birth to fruitful and sacred assignments. Tune into your inner knowing. All right? How beautiful. Tune into that light. Next, number two, we have the sand dollar. The sand dollar. And if you picked the sand dollar, if you were drawn to that, your message from your angel and guides is the little star divine. The divinity, the innocence of a small child fresh from the heavens back into earth. My inner child is whole and complete. Tune into your inner child. What does your inner child want to do? Does your inner child want to play? Are you working too much? What's going on with you? Are you not getting out in the sunshine? Are you not acknowledging the fullness of who you are from the very beginning? That you had it all when you came here. You just had to grow through life. Tune into your inner child. Put your hands together and feel that sacred essence within your heart, within your throat chakra, and what you want to communicate to the world. Heal that inner child. If you've been through a lot of trauma, heal that inner child and accept your divinity. Tune into that. If you picked the starfish, uh, this plaster um, cast of a starfish, um, you have chosen the ancient grandmother, the teacher. I am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge. She has the owl of wisdom above her head. She has lush, thick hair, showing all the wisdom and all the spirituality in her crown chakra. And just between her crown and wisdom eye, she has the scarab and the wings to take her to heaven. And it's also representing um, eternity, you know, death, rebirth, the beetle, ancient wisdom. I am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge. So are you that one? Are you the one that gives guidance for those around you? Do people seek you? Do they share their secrets with you? Do they trust you? Do they look for advice? Are you a natural mentor? Uh, well, tap into that more, you know? Allow yourself to lead with that. Now we have the Selenite Heart. And your message from your guides is Father of the Sky. It is about Father God and releasing the weight of the world from your shoulders. Let God take over. Sometimes we carry too much and we're just human. We take on everything to care for others. And even yourself, getting yourself through life, sometimes is really hard, <laughs> especially now. We're in the midst of how many rounds of this pandemic. So sometimes you just have to give it up to, your, to God, really, and say, please, please, please take over and handle my life. I need you to handle my life. I can't do it all myself. If you picked the um, quartz crystal wand, then um, your card is the medicine woman. And the medicine woman has a message for you. Let's just take a look at how beautiful she is. And she is there to heal you, of course. I nurture and nourish my mind, body, and soul. Are you taking the time to nurture your mind, body, and soul? All three, mind, body, soul. Are you getting out and walking to nourish your body? What are you doing for your mind? Are you learning new, new things? Are you stimulating your mind? Are you delving into your intuition? 
nourish your mind and your soul, your soul. You have to listen. You have to listen deep within. So I hope you're enjoying this and listening deep within. If you've chosen the seashell and the spiral of life, all right? Number six, this message is the Jade Star. And it's telling you to surrender. I am ready to, to let go with self-compassion. Maybe you're being too hard on yourself and you're carrying too much on your back. You know, too much, just too much, um, too much guilt, shame, whatever, just taking it all in, everything that's surrounding the back. You know, the back is the back end of the heart chakra. And it's where we often need support and we don't support ourselves enough or we don't allow support to come in. And that green color is showing you that healing energy, that heart, heart chakra, compassion. Well, I do hope that you enjoyed today's quickie reading, that you took the time for yourself. Um, and again, thank you for joining um, the Dancing Oracle. Please, please, please hit the like button. Hit the bell for notifications. Make a comment if you want to read. Uh, get a win a free Oracle reading with me when I reach a thousand subscribers. Do type in all caps star seed. And I would just love to hear your comments anyway. Please let me know how I'm doing and how I'm here to serve you because I do like bringing some healing energy to everybody in whatever free time they may find. All right, take care, be safe, everyone, be kind and uh, open your heart to love. Thank you.